Cobras are very impressive animals. Unlike rattlesnakes that lie in wait and ambush for prey, cobras are more hunters that go out and, and look for prey actively. Everyone's seen the snake charmer with the flute and the cobra's kind of hooding up. But cobra venom is very lethal. Cobra venom's killed by paralysis. You can get fatal arrhythmias. You could have kidney failure. And so as it spreads, it's going to be devouring tissue. They're one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. The night that the, the accident occurred in my, in my house, it was just one of those nights where everything was a simple routine, putting snakes away, trying to take them to an exhibit I was opening up. I must have handled, I don't know, a dozen cobras that night. And the last one that I came to was this monocle cobra. Monocle cobras around the world kill quite a few people. Well, they have postsynaptic toxins that cause neuromuscular blockade, and they can put a stop to your breathing straight away. Venom is expensive for the cobra to make, so they try to conserve it as best they can so they'll have it when they need it. They'll usually try to warn a predator first by rising up and expanding their hoods to appear larger. Next, they'll let out an auditory warning with a hiss. Then they'll let out mock strikes to scare the aggressor, and then finally, as a last resort, they'll strike. But in David's case, the snake was so agitated that it was past the posturing phase. I've done this 500 times. You put the snake's body in there, and you get him ready, you throw his head in there, and close the lid. And I grab the snake by the head. And he's already mad. Like, no snake likes to be grabbed by the head. That's where the harassment and instigation went in. Well, what happened was when I threw him, like, instead of just straight backwards, I kind of flopped him over. And a spinal cord does not bend backwards. And shot out of the crack as I was closing it. I grabbed my shirt. Well, I thought it was my shirt. And I felt this sharp pain in my stomach. The next thing I know, I was, I was bitten. 